So now that we have Python and VS Code set up, the next thing that we have to do is set up our virtual environment. Before we do that, we have to actually talk about what are virtual environments and what problem do they try to address. So let me give you a little bit of an example scenario of the issue that we can run into when working with specific packages within Python on your local machine. So let's say that we created a project and this project is called Project 1. And what we need to do is we need to install FastAPI version 1.2.1. So what do we do? We install version 1.2.1 on our machine so that we can actually use that version. Now let's say later down the road, we start a new project called Project 2. And let's say this version uh, requires us to run Fast API version 2.4.3 because we want to try out some of the newer features. Well, at this point, if we need to try out a newer version, we have to upgrade Fast API to version 2.4.3 on our local machine. And this may or may not be a problem. It really just depends on if version 2.4.3 is backwards compatible with version 1.2.1. Uh, because if version 2.4.3 has breaking changes, then ultimately that's going to create issues with our project one because that project expects us to run version 1.2.1. And so if we can't upgrade, well, we're in a little bit of a pickle because one project needs one version, the other project needs another version. We can't have two different versions installed on our machine. So what exactly do we do? Well, this is where virtual environments come into play. So with virtual environments, let's say we want to create a project. So we create project one, and what we do is we create a virtual environment, call it whatever you want. And so this is a isolated environment that will not affect any other environments. And within this environment, we can install any Python packages running whatever version we want. And it's completely isolated to this project. And so when we create a second project, what we can do is we can create its very own virtual environment as well. We'll call it virtual environment two. And within this virtual environment, we can install any version of any package that we want. So then we can install version 2.4.3. And so both of these virtual environments are completely separated, completely isolated with one another. And so we can essentially install multiple different versions of a single package for each of our projects. And that way our projects don't end up stepping on the toes of other projects. And so now that we have a basic understanding of virtual environments, let's go ahead and figure out how we can actually create our first virtual environment and use it within our project.